which so who else you got on in on this so far who else or what else or who else uh nobody yet I don't know how it's going to be over by Tom. I think he might be getting uh, worse than we are. What's what's going on over there? The uh, hurricane. Ooh. That Which, is. We're, we're not getting much of anything. It's, it was Tampa in particular that might, you know, get some sort of something. Ah. Uh, that is why I don't live by an ocean. <laughs> yeah. Is the audio okay over there? Um, yeah, actually. All right, cool, good. Very good. I'm most definitely multitasking right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but uh, the last thing I put up, like my blog post for Gianna, I threw your video in there as well. The, oh, our, um. Gianna. Okay. Cool. Don't go further back, shit. You get out of my way so I can do something. Did the hangout go? There it is. Do you see an X split picture of X split from me? Yes, I was wondering how on earth you got that. <laughs> I'd have to figure out how to change that. I don't even know why that's there. Well, it's because. Even though you can choose XSplit as a camera device, XSplit technically doesn't support the Google Hangouts yet. Right, right. So I don't know why you get that and I just get a gray screen. <laughs> okay, so let's, so we are broadcasting. Uh, let's try loading up the game and see how I need to capture it. What's uh the other game run off of? The Gentrieve? Mm -hmm. Um it's I think it runs off the J Monkey engine. Was isn't that like Java based, I think?
That might cancel you out. Uh, what, the game? Yeah. Can you still hear me or not? Yeah, now, now I can hear you. Okay. Doesn't I don't see you. Like you're no. Um okay, so we can display the J monkey in. Oh there it is. Maybe. Still not there. Right. Do you just see a black screen? No, I see uh the year is thirty eighty AD. Oh okay. So it's just black on my end for odd reasons. Okay. Mass generators are now everywhere. What was the first game called? Gentrieve. Oh, same thing? Basically, I guess. It was just two-dimensional. Oh, yes, you're retrieving generators. Thus, Gentrieve. Right, that makes sense. <laughs> Alright. Okay, now I have control of my mouse. So now I need to There we go. Now it should show up on Twitch. Okay, so let us see. Apparently the rooms and levels are all randomly generated. Really? Yeah. I'm not quite sure how he, how he makes it do that. But it randomly generates the rooms and apparently somehow creates puzzles with it or something. That should be interesting. <laughs> yeah. I only fired this up once to make sure it worked, and I got stuck in a room with a giant pit full of water, which I couldn't jump back up. That's that good. Yeah, so either I'm missing some part of the controls that would allow me to go higher, or that's a problem with randomly generating rooms, is that you may end up getting stuck. Are you still on that same screen? Because that's still what I see over there. Yeah, it takes a while to load all the textures. This should be loading. No, no I don't log in. I don't want to watch myself. and the fruit is your friend? Uh, yes. Ah, uh, he, <laughs> he just sent me a message on Twitter that use backspace to save yourself when you're stuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there is an escape button. That's good. Yeah, this one is still... he still has this in alpha. I don't think this has been reached re beta yet. Ooh. Extra early preview. Yes. I think he, he just released the alpha download. Um, and I 
think you can pre-order the game as well on his website. Right. You get the preview of the preview. Yes. Which is last um, J Monkey Engine game he did, um, 3079, which was kind of Minecraft meets Fallout. Um, that seemed like a pretty impressive game. I was never able to get very far into it, but it looked pretty massive and pretty impressive. Okay. So yeah, this is a completely different room than the one I was first in. So I have lasers. And that's it. It sounds like you're doing stuff now and I'm still seeing the same screen. That's weird. Oh yeah. I wonder if I have to reset it. see a menu and your desktop and I see a Dan Ooh, we have a wild Dan hello wild Dan up here hello hello yo yo can you hear me can you hear us we can hear you. I can you hear me? Uh, I yep, can hear me. you. I don't know if you can hear us. I can hear you. Okay. Good. All right. That's a. Can you hear Josh? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I, got... I think we're all good. Hopefully. How do I? Yep. Alt fire. Select shift. Isn't there? We now have the um, developer in the chat room, so he can help me. Isn't there a button to pick stuff up? Or is that a special item? I'm, I didn't see anything in the control. I saw in the trailer you could pick up stuff, but I'm wondering if you need a special, like, almost like a, yes, a gravity gun. You need a gravity gun to be able to pick up items. Are you playing Portal? <laughs> I'm assuming he took inspiration from Portal. I know I was holding it. Okay, well, now I'm underwater. I hope I have unlimited air. That doesn't do anything. Oops. Nobody likes water levels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Nope. <laughs> no, I'm on the log. Okay, let, we'll we'll see what backspace does. Oh, okay. like teleport or something? Backspace puts you back at the little lollipop. Okay, so huh. that's a checkpoint. Nice. That works. Lollipops are checkpoints. Or 
Oh, it brings you back to the door that you entered in from. So I have no idea what these lollipops are. Music's pretty cool. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Catchy. Yeah, it sounds like it. Oh, <laughs> the lollipops are just lights. <laughs> 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 So yeah, they, they're, they're just there for scenery. I want lollipop lights. Can you pre-order those? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Portal. Oh, I missed oh. it. Ah. Dang it. I need, I need an actual portal gun. You should tell him that should be his pre-order bonus. The lollipops? Lollipop lights. <laughs> there you wow. go. You get, get, get one of those, um... Get on board with one of those prefabrication places or whatever. Absolutely. <laughs> and your pre-order bonus is you get lollipop lights. Get wow. USB-powered lollipop lights. Then you can be, like, dishonored. They're giving you, Best Buy is giving you the whale oil USB lamp. There you go. So you pre-order Gentry 2 and you get a USB lollipop light. Absolutely. Well. Ah. <laughs> now I go in the portal. Ooh, that looks important. Ammo. Like eight, eight big bullets. Ammo for a gun I don't have. I think that's for my alternate fire, which I don't have an alternate fire yet. So I, oops. So I need to find a gun. Or, you know, you can just throw the bullet really, really fast. I can sure that, 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 that should be an option. You should be able <laughs> to throw your ammo. Probably wouldn't do much damage. Okay, there's another... That was the one I came into first, which if I shoot it, that does nothing. Oh, apparently hitting backspace uses up your health. So I probably have like no health left. What is your health? Is it that 100 there or what is that? I think so. Oh, yep, now I grabbed those three wrenches, so now I'm at 1,000. That's a lot of health. Uh, huge jump in health there. You yeah. am to determine doors. Oh, that's a, that's a map. Ow. Uh, that's a fancy map. Never seen a map like that before. That is... I like that. That's like, um... I'm kind of like Metroid Prime. Yeah, pretty much. I haven't seen that map used much, though, outside of Metroid. So... Oop. There's three doors, and I think I've been in all of them. So, is there an underwater secret entrance somewhere? Part the sea. <laughs> oh, is there... So, hitting backspace takes up 300 health. What does that do again? Reset your huh. position, or what? It resets you to the last door you entered. Gotcha. And apparently the apparently those those recharge the doors or the pick up. Oh, they they recharge or respawn. Okay. So if you keep doing that and he uses health, can you kill yourself by doing it? 
Um, that was a good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that should be you your your teleporter. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you'll go down to one health if you use a. Uh, if you don't have enough to use the rescue button. Gotcha. Usually the, the, the rescue button should be your teleporter, and if you use it when you don't have enough health, you just explode. I keep falling. I'm... I'm not very good with the WASD keys. Yeah. Give me a gamepad any day. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll agree with you. He, he says he's impressed how many times I've needed to rescue myself in the starting room. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, hilarious. That, I, I am very good at failing tutorials. You oh. sure this shouldn't be on your other channel? Uh, th it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so I need to go up. How do I go up? Oh, uh, apparently he is making it gamepad compatible. So, yay for that. Very good, very good. That's awesome. Okay. You can always appreciate a gamepad slash controller over a keyboard. Yeah, to the one. Oh, I can go over yeah, here. Completely agree with that. Then I can jump up here. There we go. Oh, there is one in the ceiling. Oh, look at that. Come on. Ah. Okay. That was a precarious jump. Ooh. Checkpoint. Oh, floppy disk. Well, that saves the game. That's awesome. So that was a save room. I think that's the best thing I've seen to save ever. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So there are two more doors that I, we haven't been in. So far, I haven't been taking any fall damage, so that's good. Straight ahead and to the right. I'm really liking this mapping system. Pretty good. It's definitely pretty good. Different, too. Ah, there's one. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I thought I had it. Ah, <laughs> uh, and I can't get back up. Dang it. Good thing you can actually swim, huh? Yeah, okay, now yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely helpful in water. Now I gotta re-find where that was. And look over here. <clears throat> you never know in games, sometimes turtles can't swim, you know? That's the strangest thing. There is an item that lets you swim, I guess. So, have I been in this one? Yes, that's the one with the health. There's another one. Straight ahead and another one to the right. So, over here. Ah, uh, yes. The lollipop. Follow the lollipops. lollipops. Ooh, 
Ooh, new room. Nice. Oh. Oh, stop being shooting at me. Oh dear. What is that? Hey! Ah! Damn! God damn. Okay, now where is another door? There's one. Oh, I'm being shot at again. It's still a of droids. Ooh, we dropped a health item. Whoa. Except I... Oh, oh I can reach it. Nice. Nice. Oh, another room now. So, where are we now? Okay. Okay, so we can zoom in and out. And... Move with that. Very nice. So, are there any more doors? Yes, there's one more door in this room. Somewhere. Oh dear, the music changed. Is that good or bad? I, don't I know, think that's like bad. Ah, uh, yes, there are giant. What cubes. is that? There are giant cubes attacking it's a me. Big boss. Did I get to the boss room already? So a giant cube is the boss. Not something I haven't seen before. Blaster Master Stage Three. You fought like a slayer thing that shoots lasers. This is a ball inside of a block that shoots lasers and. Disappears. That's a very close. Oh, it's right in front of me. Ooh. Wonder if I can shoot. Is he gone? I thought there was another one. Oh yeah, there's another one. Ooh, exploding boxes. Nice. Every game needs to have exploding barrels. Absolutely. Ah. Destructive environments for the win. Yeah, you're there. You are. Ah, uh, you can get back here. You tell that cube, get him. Yeah, smack that cube. Ha ha. Yeah. Ooh. What is that? Oh, I have a dash uh -oh. now. Uh -oh. well, kind of, it's a dash. So, how does that work? Nice, I can... Basically, I can accelerate now. Keep getting upgrades like that to like help you proceed. It definitely has more similarities to Metroid then. Yeah, this is definitely I think styled very much after um, Metroid. Prime games. With the Metroid Prime, yeah, with the sh the first person shooter, but still with puzzles and platforming and item upgrades. That's a good thing, people. Yes, we haven't had another an actual Metroid Prime game in a long time. Yeah, I think we need that to make up for other M. Yes, <laughs> we need about six or seven of those to make up for other M. Ow! 
that. I thought I got rid of all you. And apparently, with the enemies, you can actually blow up. You can blow off certain parts of them. For like the stronger enemies, you can blow off different parts. too fast. <laughs> yeah. It's starting to sensitivity now. I suppose I could do that. Can I make that? Yes. yourself up. There you go. <laughs> Except to um invoy to avoid any sort of um copy stupid copyright infringement should be a morph block or a turn into a um, hexagon or something. <laughs> A rhombus. There you go. More rhombus. Can't say anything about that. That's original. Ooh. Is this? Oh, a tunnel. So far, it's quite generous on the health pickups. Well, that's good, considering you can get lost and fall and lose health and whatnot. Yeah, I, <laughs> I would probably have died a couple times by now if it weren't for the generous health pickups. I have to say, I'm not a fan of the pools. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting stuck in the pools.
All right, well, I wonder if we should move over to Project Gianna now. I don't want to stay up too late. What time's it for you over there? Like 11? Uh, no, it's actually only 9. Oh, okay. I always forget if you're like a, an hour in front or an hour behind. I think it's an hour behind. Okay. Uh, except the, I don't want it this huge. Yeah, I noticed that too when I was doing a video for it. It was ever so slightly too big. I like how it's in windowed mode, but I need to adjust the resolution a bit. <clears throat> Let's try that again. See if we can find some resolution settings in there. I'm gonna give you a tip in advance so you don't fail as bad as I did. Uh huh. Our right trigger will switch you between the two quickly. Oh, okay. Because I guess there's more than one way to do it. And the way I was doing it to switch from cute to punk. I would end up doing an attack, and most of my deaths were because of that. Oh, okay. Good to know. I spent like seven minutes straight on the part of the second level because of that. <laughs> I noticed you were having trouble um figuring out the various jumps or special attacks. Yeah, sometimes I take a bit to uh, kind of adjust. So I was also kind of trying to show it off too. Yeah. Okay. So okay, so A jumps and X goes to. Punk Diana. Okay, so why is the twirly jump for? Twirly, yes, if you hold it, you'll uh, you'll float. Yeah, don't don't turn into her with X. Turn into her with the right trigger. Okay. That makes more sense. Otherwise, you're gonna bounce into crap and kill yourself like I did. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the most fun part of the game right there. <laughs> Exploding owls. That's right. That's <laughs> awesome. Uh, I think I heard something that the owls might not be in the final game, and that makes me sad. Why? <laughs> well, that that's ha that's half the fun of the game. I know it's just fun to look at. As, as I think it's also really interesting because being the original Gianna was a clone of Super Mario Brothers, and I always thought the Goombas and Mario Brothers were owls. Really now? Yes, when I. For the longest time, I thought the Goombas were owls. Oh. <laughs> I got stuck in a platform. 
you're uh, reimagining your childhood memories then. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Back when I used to stomp owls with an Italian plumber. Now you bash them instead of jumping on them. That's pretty fun too, like ricocheting back and forth. And yeah, whatnot. I wish you could control the angle of it. Otherwise, you can get caught like that. Yeah, that happened to me a few times. <laughs> so, so that, that would be nice to be able to control the... After when you're ricocheting, we control the angle of your ricochet. No, there we go. Checkpoint. Oh, death pool. No, I. <laughs> I didn't bounce. I want to bounce. Try that again. It doesn't bounce off that wall. That's no fun. I like how cute Gianna is in the twisted dark world and punk Gianna is in the happy Yeah, it's world. kinda sweet how that works. <laughs> and the rock music is what plays in the yep. cheery happy <laughs> world and the uh, um, cutesy little piano Melody is in the twisted dark world. That's like the complete opposite of what you would expect. Sure, but it doesn't make it any less awesome. I do wish you could attack or use the special ability of one sister and then swap to the other and use the special ability without having to land first. I believe you can, because if you're in the air, you can go ahead and switch to Q and... Because you're going to need that towards the end of the second level. See, if I do the twirly thing, and then if I hit X to do the, um, fireball, um, it, 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 it just changes over, it doesn't actually do the fireball. Yeah. Unless I touch the ground, then I can do, then I can activate the fireball. Ah, so any of the shoulder buttons switch. Oh, it's either one. I didn't even bother with that. Good stuff. Okay, so that's all that's up here. I'm pretty good with the transitions. Yeah, that impressed me too. Like, I was wondering if there was going to be, like, any lag or anything, and it's it's smooth. It's, like, spot on. It's great. Yeah, and it even animates the... everything just sort of pops and springs out. Smooth transitions between retro and modern. Oh. It blows my mind that the original music creator was working with my favorite band on this. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. Nice. The guy who made the music for uh, this game. I'm sure I'm gonna pronounce it wrong. Chris Holzbeck. You know he does the uh, the regular score, and the rocked out soundtrack is Machine Supremacy. Nice. Oh dear. Okay. Oh. Okay, so in cutesy punk Gianna world, the ghost is a ghost, but in twisted cute Gianna, the ghost is actually a monster. 
That would be correct. And that right there, that part that you see, the light, if the ghost goes into that, they like disintegrate. It's awesome. Ha, <laughs> I burn. Yep. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. It reminds me of Dixie Kong's ponytail whirlwind. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of exactly what that is, actually. Cause the same kind of thing where you just kind of hold it down. If you let up, then you fall, but you can hold it down to, to keep spinning. Yeah. It just has a little bit of a boost where Dixie Kong doesn't have that right, right. little aerial boost. It's actually a really good comparison. I play Donkey Kong a lot. That is a good thing, because it's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's one of the few games that I am really, really good at. Oh, we have ghosts for each one. Interesting. Ouch. You know, the whole switching between worlds is, is great. Everything changes. Yeah, the hazards change. Environments change. What did I hit? It's because they focus so much on this, then it's definitely going to separate itself if it actually comes out from, you know, being a Mario clone. Yeah, the, the first one was a pretty much shameless Mario rip. Um, this is definitely going to be something completely different and, in my opinion, completely better. Yeah. Because we haven't had a good Mario game or a different Mario game in a long time. It's very true. It's all just been Mario. It's been, it's basically Mario Three or Mario World. They just keep re-releasing it with new level packs. Pretty much, that's exactly what they're doing. It's like, oh well, Mario could do such and such in Part Three, so let's put this in the next game. And well, people like Yoshi, so let's put him in the next game. Yeah. They don't really do anything different. Oh dear. Well, now you get a bunch of coins. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. It's a Mario <laughs> game, not Wario. Wario is supposed to be the one that's all greedy collecting coins. Ah! Yeah. So I just like to think that... that Mario finally figured out that Peach has been cheating on him all this time with Bowser. How in the world? So he's just going on a big spending spree. Absolutely. Now this is going to be interesting. Oh! Wow. <laughs> okay. No! Oh, oh! Oh! Okay, okay. Up, up, up. Ah! Checkpoint. It's a thing, you're not even up to the fun part yet. Oh, it gets better than this? Oh, yeah. The, the part I got stuck after seven minutes. Mostly because I'm an idiot, but, you know. Okay, those spikes look a bit dangerous. Oh, I can I can use my fireball dash after hitting an enemy. Nice. Bam! Take it, owl. <laughs> oh, I missed that there. Oh. I like that fireball dash. It's awesome. Man run around and cause destruction with an awesome soundtrack. <laughs> and you just bounce off of everything. I think this, would, this could totally be platformer of the year material. I'd agree with that, but we know it won't happen. <laughs> yeah. It'd be I'd... really cool 
if this ended up uh, being like the platformer for Ouya. Oh yeah, because they're that's one of their stretch goals or something. They're gonna do the yeah. Ouya port. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't. Ouya does support them, so you never know what's gonna happen. This is actually a topic earlier today in the Facebook group. But uh. I mean, they support the project, so... Yeah, because Ouya's we'll getting the, um, Final Fantasy um, on live, and they're also getting the new um, the startup that Xander Davis just started. Um, I forget. I keep forgetting the name of it. Something to do with rockets. I don't recall this. Maybe I just never heard of it. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Clever. Ah. And there you go. <laughs> they even give you a shield for this one. This is the part I was talking about. Okay, now. And up. Ah, dang it. Oh. Google.com is not responding. Why? <clears throat> and now. <laughs> Not close to the edge. Oh, Ooh, that was close. My toes got wet. Hey, yeah, I do it again. Okay. Now this is platforming. <clears throat> Okay, obviously we have to use cute new on it for this one. Definitely. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh I didn't even yeah. have to use the six ledge. Nice. Oh wait, I finished it? Yeah, I told you after that that was it. <laughs> awesome. I totally want this game. Now. I'm telling you. Can't wait. Extremely hopeful for it. They're definitely not hitting those stretch goals, but to make it, that'd yeah, be great. They're, they're, it's it's going to be close. Yeah, it's got four days, but it's like at, what is it, 120k now? I think they got about 30k left. Yeah, they, they, had, they had a boost. Um, it, was, it was looking a little... Looking a little meager for a while, but I think they got uh, influx, so they're they're a lot closer than they were a couple of days ago. Yo, well, I was late to the party. <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> My uh, phone didn't prompt me like it usually does that you were on. Yeah, I, I think I started a bit early. That you you already missed um, both the games we just played. Oh, that's okay. I just popped in to see if you guys were still on. If you were, say hi. Bye. <laughs> hi. <laughs> yeah, bye. That's cool. Oh, I'm sorry I missed it. Yeah, no problem. See, hung up. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, oh, that was that was definitely high by. <laughs> uh, that's it's just called closing the wrong window. <laughs> or closing the wrong tab, hit the wrong button on the mouse, whatever. 
So what games did you do? Uh, we did Gentrieve 2, which okay. is a currently in development Metroid Prime styled okay. game. Um, actually developed by a friend of mine. And That's I got, cool. I got, was playing with the Alpha, and it was definitely looked very cool. Oh, I'm sorry I missed that. Yeah, you, you missed me completely failing the first level. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why it's called cool, Iron Gamer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he was in the chat room, and he said he, he was surprised at how many times I had to restart the first room. Uh, was it a first-person shooter? Yep. Okay. No game had support. <laughs> How did I know that? <laughs> it's that kind of view. It's got maps like Metroid Prime. Yeah. I I've I don't think I did I even play Metroid Prime at any time. What's what system was that on? Uh, GameCube. Well, there's the reason. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I only knew one person with a GameCube. And they lived a long ways away. Um, I did, however, um, I picked up uh, Red Dead, yeah, Red Dead Redemption uh, today. And I actually thought of you, Joshua. I said, "Oh, third-person uh, um, combat." I said Joshua could play this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do a little bit better in third-person. Um, not so much in first-person. Which is, yeah, I, I was just going to go fire it up, actually, and then I thought I'd uh, check uh, Google+, Plus, and that's when I saw your belated hang-up. I was kind of sitting here with my phone, because usually it goes off to tell me that... Oh, yeah. ...invited me to a hangout. The bugger thing didn't do. So how's things with you guys? You have a good week? Pretty good, no complaints. I had an awesome job interview. It was spectacular. When do they tell you if you get the job? Well, you know, even without getting the job, it was still a good feeling. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Like, I don't know. It just it just made me feel a whole lot better about things. So I had that when when I first went and interviewed at Best Buy. I had a really good interview. But then I ended up not getting the job. It, it happens because somebody else has a better interview. <laughs> yeah, which I suppose isn't a totally bad thing. No, it is not, yeah. <laughs> and it's not indicative of yourself or anything else. It's just the way it is. Mm. That's why I'm not really worried if I get this job or not. I mean, I want it. That's I'll tell you that. But uh, it's it's not about that. It's about do you, you know. I just found it kind of lifted my spirits. <laughs> uh huh. I felt really good about it. I felt, you know, like I talked tech with three guys and we had a, you know, a good rapport. It was good. Bleeding hot, but it was good. Go to, of course, wear a black suit to go to. You know, oh, there. yeah. <sighs> Anyways, it was warm. That's the worst part about interviews is having to dress up. Well, it's better. It's, I uh, kind of asked my uh, <laughs> consultant that I have to uh, walk me through all of this stuff and help me out. Um, what, you know, okay, do you go kind of business casual? Is it suit and tie? Or is it, you know, she, and her, her approach, and I think I'll have to agree with it, is it's better to go overdressed than underdressed. Yeah. So overdressed, you can just take off your, your jacket, your tie, and your casual, right? Uh-huh. You can't dress up. If you walk in and they're all in suits and you're wearing a golf shirt and jeans. <laughs> yeah. You, you're you, scared before you walk in. <laughs> well, they make, you know, like uh, somebody told me, he said the uh, interview is usually made up in uh, 12 minutes. They usually know in 12 minutes whether you're good for the job or not. That was kind of interesting because this was about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, a bunch of different questions. Uh, Mostly Linux and uh, Exchange and a few other enterprise type applications and what kind of people you can work with and what kind you can't work with and that kind of stuff. Um, I can't work with stupid people. I particularly <laughs> don't like rude people. I like people that are objectively rude for being rude. You know, uh, 
I mean, yeah, I've worked with people that are uh, have Aspergers. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, to say it in that way, but uh, and they can be rude at times, but they don't know they're being rude. Yeah, I've worked with people who know they're being rude, and they don't care. And they don't care. Yeah, right. Um, other than that, the only other people I have, uh, you know, sometimes a little uncomfortable dealing with are the tinfoil hats. I've yeah. unfortunately worked with a lot of different people who had uh, different ideas on how the world actually functioned. Yeah, they're they're almost kind of creepy in a way. It, it is. It's a, it's a little creepy uh, when you find it. You know, like uh, generally, what I find is that you really respect the person, right? In uh -huh. many cases, I've respected this person, and then you find out that he believes in the Illuminati and that the Ford has got a car that runs on water and they're keeping it off the market. Yeah. You know, and that, and that is being polite <laughs> to the person <laughs> on some of the other beliefs this person, what these people would have. Um, I said, without them being, you know, ra now, I'm not saying they're racist or they're homophobic or they're, um, you know, uh, anti Semitic or anything like that. To me, that's all racism in itself, right? Uh, various types, but these people have some crazy freaking ideas about <laughs> life. <laughs> and you just, uh, so how do you deal with it? Well, you just stay away from those topics. I mean, professionally, you can work with the people. It's just, yeah, that's the personal beliefs, and you leave it there. Yeah. That's almost like one of the things, you know, you never talk about in polite conversation, you know, is religious, politics, and conspiracy. Mm hmm. Good plan. <laughs> Anyways, it was a good it was a good interview, um, and I did a couple of things that uh, uh, they wanted me to do. Uh, you know, ask them a question. You know, uh, and and you know this is a, something that I was told please do this, so I did it, and it actually kind of got an interesting reaction. I thought, well, I'll have to find out how it works out. I was basically asked them what kind of a person do you, were you expecting, or were you, did you want for the job? Yeah, I, I read that, and there was like a like a lack or one of those articles about how to do an interview, and one of the things they mentioned is that you know you ask some questions as well. Yeah, well, that was the question I asked, and it kind of threw them. Well, he admitted he was flat-footed. <laughs> he thought, "Oh, that's a really good question." So, as I said, I haven't got the job, but. I felt really good. That and the fact that the government phoned me up and uh, said, "Oh, we have a position that's not going that's going to go to uh, um, hasn't gone public, so I'm in a pool of people that they can draw from before it has to go public." Mm. So, so I got my resume in there for that. So that looks good. Rains it pours, you know. <laughs> that's always good when you're job hunting. Yes. Yeah. And, and at least there's jobs up here. There's at least jobs, right? I mean, we're in a small market here. You know, there's only maybe 80,000 people in the whole area. And, I, you know, I have a fairly narrow job de definition. Not that I can't do much else, but my job that I was doing for 14 years was very, it was kind of higher up in the, uh, like an enterprise type situation. That very niche yeah, yeah, it's not niche. It's there's usually not a lot of spots, but there's like four or five jobs opening right now. Oh, nice! And I'm like, wow, you know, I thought it was going to be hard. Well, it's still hard. Trust me, it's been three <laughs> months, but I thought it was going to be more desperate than I thought it would be. <laughs> I didn't think even the opportunities would be there. I'm at least happy that the opportunities are up. And if you're a developer. <laughs> Forget it, dude. There's all tons of jobs. Tons of them. For all kinds of developers. Yeah, I thought it was a surprise. I thought the software side of things was slowing down. Um, so did I, but uh, it's like a lot of the jobs I'm seeing, and, you know, they, these are not uber high paying jobs around here because our cost for living is so low 
but there they'd be good money here you know and uh, there's a lot of game developers they're looking for um, web developers they're looking for PHP developers and you know business uh, uh, SAP type people it, it, there's a ton of them. web developers so if you work in Canada take a look at New Brunswick there's lots of jobs <laughs> Yeah, we got a couple of companies in town that are doing major expansions, like 300 people. Uh, skills off and radio fix. And uh, the, everybody else, cut, the government's cutting back, but everybody else is expanding out, so it kind of balances out. So is this that game? Uh, this, yeah, this is Project Gianna that we just finished oh, up. Oh, yeah, the one the Kickstarter was on. Yes, that is more awesome than Mario has been in years. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have to say that 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 game, uh, the G great, uh, what is it, the Great Gianna Sisters? Yes. That was a a much better Mario Super Brothers than whatever. <laughs> <laughs> As I, than I expected, at least. They, they they should call this one the new Great Gianna Sisters. <laughs> Even greater Gianna oh, sisters. <laughs> the superb Gianna sisters. Way more better than Mario sisters. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> print, print the books. <laughs> that's the title. Better than Mario sisters. Yeah. Where did the sound go? I hear it. Slightly. Barely. It's kind of got a... Uh, Magic uh, torchlight to it. Yeah, there's. There is kind of a similar art style there. I, I just love. Well, I, mean, how... I like the art style. It's, it's a nice art. I, I just love how they did the music with the um more fantasy, cutesy theme in the dark world and the punk rock in the cute world. There's a cute world redhead, and then... Yeah, Punk Gianna gets the cute world, and Cute Gianna gets the dark world. Okay, because I was trying to figure out, okay, well, if she's cute looking now, how come it's so dark looking? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a thinker. Could it get darker? Well, that's a great yin-yang kind of thing, right? Yeah. I'm like this. It's you know like trying, and it's it's. Uh, Except the, the the puzzles. You're running across the ceiling. No, I'm floating. Oh, okay. Because it looked like you're almost <laughs> like running on. So some of the platforming puzzles, um, so far that they're not quite as physics based as trying, but yeah. some of the platforming puzzles are very clever and ingenious and. Acquire a bit of skill. Well, probably more. I, I terrible at platforming. <laughs> at least they got little help things to like some meat boy here. <laughs> if this actually comes out, this could make for some interesting episodes in the future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna be playing this. And they got some hidden levels and little. Thing. I could see them having different stuff in there. Yeah, That's there's cool. some. I, I think they did a really good job. It looks great. Yeah, and it, and it isn't quite a Mario ripoff like the first one was. Uh, that is true, but I think it still holds to the classic. Right? Uh huh. Um, most people aren't going to know about the old version, anyways. Yeah. Sure, man. Um, <laughs> pretty damn old. <laughs> Well, that's what I am. <laughs> <laughs> and it was kind of pulled off the shelves early. It's kind of a nice way to bring an old IP, you know, out of the 8-bit world. <laughs> I, I, I think I could play this. This was... No, I could try to play this. <laughs> <laughs> it, gets, it gets pretty tricky. 
But especially the second levels, they start getting pretty devious. Yeah. So you, can you switch to um, character at will, or is it yeah. just... Yeah. And okay. You just tap the shoulder button or press one of their special attack buttons and it automatically switches. That's cool. And then you get the power of that particular person. Floating yep. power versus flame woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, you can't... You flame can't, on. Yeah, you can't um, <laughs> use flame power and then switch to the other girl and use hover power. They don't let you... Um, double power midair. Well, can you like switch quick enough? <laughs> well, it's not switching quick enough. It's because I can like do a little hover thing here, and then try and switch to her to do a fireball, but it won't let me. Uh, not until I land. It's almost like a cooldown. Yeah, which that would be nice if they let you do that, because then you could you know hover part of the way and then switch and fireball. Yeah, or hover up and then fireball straight over and hit whatever you want it to hit, right? Yeah, that that would be really awesome, and that would open up some really interesting gameplay and platforming puzzles. Powered by the Hawk Vision engine. Havoc. You know, no, Havoc. Okay, it's Havoc. Havoc okay. Vision engine and Havoc Physics uses scale form GFX and Autodesk. Yeah, you can't tell I just got a new monitor. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> the text is so freaking small. <laughs> oh yeah, here, here's the cool part with the enemies. Those ghosts are real ghosts in the dark world. Yeah. But in the light world, they're just little shadows. And you can walk to them. Uh-huh. Ooh. But obviously you need to switch to the dark world to get around. Oh, and those guys exist in the light world. Okay, so that's how they balance it. Yeah, okay. You have ghosts that exist in each realm. You know, I can see it now. With the iHeart Nintendo fanboys, this is what's going to happen. Because, you know, before it was a Mario clone, I would be like, oh, it's a Zelda clone, because you can switch between the dark world and the past, they're copying it. Oh, you, could, no. you couldn't switch at will. You had to, like, find the special... I mean, you had the mirror that lets you switch back. But you had to find those special dimensional plates to switch to the... Well, that was an old trope anyway, so I mean, it's not like Mario or Zelda invented it. Oh no, it's just how far some people will go. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, it, fanboys. everything copies Shakespeare. Somewhere's in here is Shakespeare. That's we like that. Let's move on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. nothing new under the sun. Yeah. Okay, just keep whitewashing the old stuff. But, on point, this is an old game that's really not old. This This is not an old game anymore. You know, I'm really, I really think that there are more games out there that can be taken to a treatment like this. I just well, have to figure them out. <laughs> <laughs> they, they sort of did that with Donkey Kong Country Returns. Oops. That was a ghost. Mm. So they, they sort of reinvented Donkey Kong Country Returns. Um, and that was pretty good. They... But they honestly they haven't really done that with Mario. Well, Mario needs a reboot real quick. He needs Mario stuck on the same stuff. Mm-hmm. They, they, you know, I can understand did you know it was Mario Kart or Mario Party. I mean, but he's still it's still not a Mario game, right? Well, and it's I characters I it's the characters in a different game. Well, like right. the the platformers, I understand New Super Mario Brothers. What I don't understand is New Super Mario Brothers Wii, New Super Mario Brothers Wii U, New Super Mario Brothers Two. Wait. Stop flogging a dead horse. 
Yeah, it's like, we already had a Mario platforming remake-ish thing. Now you're gonna keep remaking it again and again and again and again? Oh dear. What's that guy with the wave of the green flag? That's a checkpoint. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a Rayman hand coming out of a chest. Uh, yo. Oh, oh dear. Hover, 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 ah. hover. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Ah! Oh, I missed the platform. Denied. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on. Okay, switch. <laughs> and up. Ha! Checkpoint. Well, the checkpoint needed to be in the right place. Yeah, for the most part, they've been pretty... pretty generous. <laughs> Ooh, there's some secret stuff up there. Oh, except there's... oh, there's vines up there. <laughs> it's nice, I can I can fireball up there and then switch to cute Gianna to get rid of the vines. So I can land. Yeah, this, in a way, kind of reminds me a little bit of what you used to have for Shadow Complex on the Xbox. Oh, yeah. But uh, this has actually got a little bit more on it. <laughs> Shadow Complex was more of a pure Metroidvania. Yeah. Game. Absolutely. Yeah. That being said, I really enjoyed Shadow Complex. Oh yeah. Uh, it was that being a blast. In said too, that was probably one of the first platformers that I sat down and I said, "I'm finishing this." Did you do everything in it? Um, everything except some of the. Um, Challenge puzzles. Gotcha. I, I found think... really, really hard. <laughs> I think I finished it, but I don't think I ever got the stupid phone gun. That basically oh. you create platforms. Oh yeah, I got that. Uh, Did I... you need to get the last piece of the suit, if I'm not mistaken? I had all the pieces of the suit. Yeah, there. I missed. There was something in there that I missed. Something. Still able to finish the game, but I didn't get everything. Well, there was. There was one room, the little diamonds that they had there that showed you where everything was. There was one room that had a diamond on it. There's two items hidden in the room. Ah. So you think you got it. But, but you, 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 you don't. You have to go back and you get the second item. Yeah, there, were, there was something where I didn't get all the pieces to the suit or something or maybe it was I got the foam gun but I didn't get the foam upgrade I can't remember that I remember having it because there was one thing that you have to like build the foam up and get a huge tower while you're standing on it right so you're basically foaming your feet yeah <laughs> and you grow up and then you get onto this ledge and get the item up on the top and that's for an achievement to get all those items. Um, another hard one was actually just exploring 100% of the world. Yep. Because at points you're just like jumping into space just to see what the... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the yeah that's yeah. the old Super Mario trick. Let's jump yeah. on this pit, see if there's anything in it. Yeah. Ooh, just... Barely. Oh, there's a thing up there. Can you kindly fly over to the left? Thank you. I like how you can bounce off an enemy and then use your firepower again. Hmm. So what's down here? I don't think I went down here. Uh, just... Punk Gianna the Owl Bouncer. Okay, here. 
Here is the interesting part. Oh, I see. You gotta kind of get those things flattened out, huh? Yes, there Rich. is an acid lake and then stalactites. So, and... Oh, I did notice the stalactites. Cute Gianna makes the platform go up. Punk Gianna makes the platform go down. Oh, switch, switch, switch. And it does go down quickly. Yes. Of course, you need to go down to get by these roots, right? Oh, uh -huh. I guess you go right through. I just... Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, and down. And up. And... Ah, I made it. Very sweet. And there's a castle at the end. And the princess is well, she's dead now, I guess. <laughs> Your Mario is in a different castle. <laughs> uh, that should totally be the thing. You, you get to it should be like your prince or your Mario or something in a different castle. Or What's Mario's first uh, re like Mario wasn't the character's real name, right? No, it was first. Jumpman. Yeah, yeah. Your Jumpman's in another castle. They, they, they named him Mario after their angry landlord, which is kind of odd. There was actually an article, I think, on if it was Dorkly or Screw Attack that Mario was actually a giant jerk. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they, they had all of the, all of these examples of how Mario was always just a complete jerk in all the games. And one being that, you know, the, the Nintendo named him after their angry landlord that they obviously didn't like. <laughs> and one, one of the big ones I remember reading in the Super Mario Brothers manual is that the um, King Koopa cursed all the inhabitants of the Mushroom Kingdom and turned them into bricks. And he goes around killing all the birds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, and you wonder why the mushroom. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder why the mushroom kingdom is so empty. Yeah. yeah you you see how quickly I got that. <laughs> <laughs> I know it says it right there in the manual, and you're sitting there busting bricks for a hundred. For a hundred points apiece. Now, yeah, I have to wonder what it originally said in, in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> if that was one of those lost in translation things. Oh, I'm wondering. <laughs> that that definitely seems kind of dark. Did you see a copy of um, uh, the one of the Nintendo games, uh, Final Fantasy or something, came up for sale? It was a prototype. Final Fantasy 2, I think it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there a bunch of those prototypes have been popping up. There's like a yellow Zelda cartridge or something. Yeah. Well, it's it's getting to the point that all these people who have it have realized, well, I could use some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have this thing that sits in my cabinet and I don't do anything with it. Mm-hmm. Because I can't play it, because I'll break it. <laughs> well, I appreciate you replaying that. No problem. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I I enjoyed it. That was. Uh, I, I'm gonna look forward to that. That did they give any other information on release date or anything like that? No. The Kickstarter ends in like four days. And they still have a little less than thirty grand to go. Yeah. So it's gonna be a tight. If they don't one. make it, then they everything goes right back to zero again on them. Pretty yep. much. So then they're just That's back. That's how Kickstarter works, right? Yeah. So then Pretty I much. think it would be the they would probably have to do it on their own thing, where you'd basically just pre-order the game with like PayPal or something. Yeah, I could do that. So yeah. I'd buy that. Are they looking at Xbox, PC? Um, PC. It's Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not doing Facebook. I just, I just seen the logo and I had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, 
I think they, they're doing PC. Um, they said if one of their stretch goals was a OUYA port. Um, I don't... Oh, they are going to do XBLA and PSN later. So the, the first platform is PC and then XBLA and PSN. Where did my hangout go? Where? What? Uh, I could probably stop the stream anyway.